My name is Leslie Pete, and I'm an oceanography teacher at Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach, Virginia. We are going to do CTV cast, and then we're going to do a new Stanto, and then we do a surface station as well. So it'll be a very busy watch. My sea trip was on the Corwith Kramer, which is the ship we're on now. Um, it was back in 1999. When I went into the sea semester, I was working on my bachelor's in biology and marine biology, and I was working in a marine biology lab. During the trip, I absolutely loved being on the ocean. I loved doing the research, but the people on board, like the first mates, the second mates, and the scientists, they really got me excited just about sharing the excitement of oceanography. CTD on? CTD on. CTD's on. And so when I got back, I decided to actually change my major um, for my master's into secondary science education. So C semester actually changed my course in my career and it was a wonderful choice. I'm going into my 10th year of teaching um, high school oceanography and I absolutely love it. You look out on the water and you don't physically see the plastics floating. I mean, yes, we've seen a couple plastic buckets go by and some abandoned buoys, but you don't really see what's going on on that surface until you scoop some out of the water and it's just hundreds of little tiny pieces of plastics that are floating. You want to think of your oceans as pristine and beautiful. And then when you get down to like the nitty gritty of it, I mean, you're, you're picking trash out of, out of nets that have only towed for 30 minutes and there's hundreds of pieces of plastic in that little net. So it's kind of disheartening, actually. Oh, yeah. You see this really big piece we got with all the barnacles on it? My kids are definitely going to know what a seine net is. They're going to see what it takes to just even have oceanography research being done. I just think this is going to give them a whole other perspective on also what we are doing to the environment. What happens when you know that one little piece of trash you let fly into the ocean? What happens to it? Maybe it'll humble them a little bit, but as my goal as an oceanography teacher, I just want them to respect the ocean. They might not love it, but they need to at least respect it and appreciate it.